everybody? It's the Amish Space Station. So, I'm not able to really do any lives currently. I got a lot going on. But uh, I, I do, I've been procrastinating and there is a couple things I want to put out here. Dane Calloway put out a video. And Dane Calloway is awesome, especially when it comes to history. There's a couple things he needs to work on with religion. But for the most part, he's really good about how they lie about history. So, you know, a real good information source to find out about the real history of who the so-called black people are in America, you know, as the real natives. And uh, and also what really took place here, along with how that ties into Tartaria and many other things that was already here. But I, I, I was listening to a couple things here, and I, I want to pull it up and I want to mention it. But um, check this out. There's almost nothing anymore that he could do that would surprise me in terms of the ongoing grift. You know, Donald Trump promised the country when he ran in 2016 that he would um, drain the swamp. Really, all he did was rearrange the swamp, rearranged it so that he could make money off of regular voters to pay his own legal fees, to pay $208,000 for his wife's stylist, um, and to set up a $2 billion grift from the Saudis for his daughter, Ivanka, and his son-in-law, Jared. So all of this stuff is obvious stuff that people are still sitting around here talking. And this is what I hear 24-7 is the same nonsense. It doesn't matter. He's going to be the person that you have to vote for because the system is set up in that way to where they're going to give you someone who can't speak, someone who's retarded, someone who's a mumbling buffoon, uh, another cackling, laughing retard, or or this guy who's not going to fix any problems and possibly you're going to lose more freedoms and, and other things. And all I hear is people making excuses about it, which is why I do what I do. When I expose people all the time, as a person who reports on other people, a journalist, a free of the press, okay, type of situation that I take, I'm going to talk about anybody I want to talk about. I'm going to talk about all the fake flat earthers. I'm going to talk about all of the controlled opposition. I'm going to talk about who the so-called swamp really is. And it's everybody who fails to realize reality, right? Um, you know, we see the same thing with Hunter Biden and what he's doing. Um, we have two ruling families right now in this country who put themselves before uh, the people they're supposed to represent. We need a wholesale change. Chris Christie, who was on this uh, program a couple of weeks ago, says he's the only one that goes directly at Trump. Uh, insult for insult, calling him a coward and so forth. And then the rest of you just dance around for fear of offending him or his supporters. Does he have a point? Now, what most people wouldn't realize about this, this is how they're going to sway all the people who are on the Republican side to bring them back over, to try and bring reality back to the picture. This is not stuff that they ever would do or put on here, and they never have in the past. It, it, the only things that they did was praise every single move that Donald Trump made for this so-called country here. I don't do insults, so that that is true. I, I think just getting in this insult game turns voters off. It's not something I want to do. Substance no, number one. None of these people are supposed to be insulting because that's an ad hom. And whenever you're having debates in that form, all of it is supposed to be out. It's all supposed to be out. It's supposed to be a format similar to what Nathan Oakley would have, which is when, when a counterclaim is put up, you have to address that claim. When that claim has been debunked, you have to let it go. A lot of things are in a debate, but, but I understand that we have to have debates in order to show people that it's not a debate such as abstract type of reality of wh where we live and, and, and the physics of water. These are not debatable topics, but people want to pretend that they are. They're not. They're not. They're natural observed phenomena. That's it. Uh, we've been very frank uh, at our differences uh, with respect uh, to the former president. I mean, for example, he promised to drain the swamp. It got worse. He did not drain the swamp. He promised to Bill have Mexico pay for a border wall. They did like 50 miles of wall. There's massive expansive still there. He said he was going to eliminate the national debt. 
they added almost eight trillion dollars to the debt uh, in four years. And of course, in 2020, he turned the country over to Dr. Fauci and those lockdowns and the borrowing and printing really sent us on a bad course. I've been very, very frank at that, but I have no interest in attacking Donald Trump. You see, so people still fail to realize who the swamp actually is. He, the guy talking, is the swamp. The other guy talking is the swamp. Fox News is the swamp. CNN is the swamp. Every position of power is the swamp. Elon Musk is the swamp. Robert F. Kennedy is the swamp. Tucker Carlson is the swamp. Alex is the swamp. Jaronism, for that matter, is the swamp. You already seen how Alex Stein went on there and said, Oh my God, it was God. God, it was, it was, it was, it was God who stopped the bullet from hitting uh, Donald Trump, you know? We don't want to hear this crap. I can't believe how many people fell for that. I see a lot of Republicans saying, you better not say that. If you say that, if you say it's fake or you say this or you say that, I'm going to sue you just like they sued Alex Jones. They didn't sue Alex Jones. Alex Jones is a fraud. I have too much information to be taken to any kind of court system. You see the laws that they're passing. You see what they're doing. What, what swamp are you talking about? This is not a swamp. This is an ocean. Just anybody who's calling this a swamp is is part of the swamp period I mean, these other candidates personally i think we got to rise above that and yeah, let's focus on the issue once allies and as a result we are where we are today which is in a- okay real quick so so instead of letting alex stein sit down and talk with tucker carlson why don't you put somebody like like eric dubay or nathan oakley or somebody uh, or even me, for that matter, sitting down talking to Tucker Carlson. What do you What do you think that conversation would actually sound like? What do you think that conversation would look like? Because it's definitely not going to look like, look at NASA lying about one or two things, and look at this, and look at this weird stuff. Don't you think it's weird? It's weird, isn't it? It's strange. Yeah, it really is strange. It, it really is, you know? Operation pay, Paperclip, OSS. The uh, CIA, all, all that. Yeah, it's it's strange, man. I don't, uh, they, you know, I don't think anything of it though. It's just strange. See, controlled opposition. You're associated with a person like Alex Stein who does this, and you dare show your face back into this community after you screwed this community over multiple times on Netflix and many other places. A, a period of crisis, and we have two crises, and they both derive from the same condition, and that condition is the corporate the emergence of the domination of corporate power over American democracy that that accelerated beginning in 2010 with the Citizens United case that unleashed a tsunami of corporate money into the American political process, and both parties are now captured by that corporate money, and they've lost any kind of authentic connection to the American people or to the populist goals of the republic and of democracy. Everybody says they're going to drain the swamp in Washington, D.C. And I think they mean it. You know, these presidential candidates. I th- no, none of them actually mean it. And neither does Robert F. Kennedy because Robert F. Kennedy also stands with uh, Camp Ashcan over there who's actually slaughtering and slaughtering and slaughtering and slaughtering Palestinians. That's what's happening over there. They're slaughtering Palestinians. You, you understand what I'm saying? That's that's what's going on. Okay, a lot of innocent women and children, a lot of innocent uh, men as well. And, you know, I'm not going to discount men. You know, I'm all for equality. Okay, so the 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 big issue, the big issue is that this is where people show their hands. People who don't understand, this is where people show their hands. Right here. Okay, just as a quick side side step. Why doesn't Iran like the United States? I can show you real quick. It's real simple. Many liberal Iranians believe that the coup and the subsequent U.S. support the Shah proved largely responsible for his rule, which we did, okay? And it led to a anti-American character of the 1979 revolution, okay? One result of the 1953 coup was the United States being responsible for it as well. I can keep going. So you already know that we caused multiple revolutions and problems inside of a a uh, republic just like America. Iran is no different. So I don't really care about the way you see it, your opinion. 
Your opinion doesn't matter because your opinion is an uneducated opinion. Too many people realize that. Okay, they're like a-holes and everybody has one. That's the problem with opinion. Facts are the only things that matter, not opinions under any circumstances. Opinions is what's screwing us all up. Could you imagine if Russia came over here and, and did something with Donald Trump or did something with, with one of these leaders? What, what do you think? You think that another country can come over here and straight screw up another country blatantly to the point where it's going to cause a civil type of conflict like we did to other countries, Ukraine and many other things? That can't happen. So I don't care what side you're on. If, if, if Robert Kennedy was on the side of the American people, he would seek to make sure that all the wars that is happening in the Middle East are put to an end now. But he's not interested in that. He's going to back a nation, a state, a fake one, into pulling everyone into another world war. Is that clear enough for you? mean it you know these presidential candidates i think president trump meant it but then you know they get into office and they're confronted by these agencies and each one has their own problems each one is you know they're all corrupt they're all captured but each one of them has different solutions and um, making you know, that he was going to drain the swamp but then he brought making excuses making excuses John Bolton in to run the NSA, who's like a, a, the template for swamp creatures. And he brought Mike Pompeo, who's the, you know, in to run the State Department, who is the, the most bellicose and belligerent uh, foreign policy, militarized foreign policy to any individual in our country. He brought Scott Gottlieb, a partner of a business partner to Pfizer in to run FDA and Godley gave a did us eighty eight billion dollar favor for his company and then he left FDA to the board of, back to the board of directors to collect his payoff and if you look at every one of the agencies the same thing happened there were more lobbyists in government than at any time in American history running the agencies that are supposed to regulate their industries and it wasn't about training the swamp and, and let me tell you one thing real quick about those lobbyists okay because i've had people at my job talk about lobbyists and stuff you're not e they're not even supposed to be there you see that this is the corrupt these people have uh, this is a conflict of interest happening you know you know what it's all part of the ocean let's not call it a swamp a swamp would dictate that it's small it, it is an ocean OK, it is an ocean. And I'm sorry, Robert Kennedy, not sorry. You're part of the swamp and you're part of the problem because you all are, are, are not acknowledging reality. The same way as these people show their hands, such as Alex Jones, when he comes in and he says, oh, you know, Freemasonry is not really bad. It's not. And then what happens? You find Ted Turner writing his checks for him and you find people on his InfoWars network saying that they're Freemasons and that Freemasons don't have anything to do with any of this. That that's that's huge. Donald Trump as well walking around in in Freemason garb and stuff like that for years, years ago even. We all know who's responsible. And he's one of them. I, I, I believe uh, President Trump wanted to do that, but I don't think he was able to. I don't think he was able to stand up to his bureaucracy. And he said... Well, then he can't run anymore then. That's what that means. Not making excuses. He's a failed. He needs to abdicate and leave. Uh, everyone in, in, all, in power needs to do that exact same thing. You see, but the people are just too stupid. And they, they think that there's some magical force that makes everything normal. Great things. He said, I don't want to do lockdowns. They make no sense. And then a week later, he ordered them. Ordered, you know, a, a, a two-week lockdown. That ended up in almost two years. And, he, you know, he said that hydroxychloroquine worked and then, he, uh, and then he backed down. So he was able to be rolled by his bureaucracy. And mentioned in that whole lockdown situation, you see why I, I made that song and I dissed uh, Tom McDonald? Because what do we see Tom McDonald doing? Tom McDonald made his little song saying, you're yeah, to lock you down for weeks until it turns into months. Oh, oh, really, really? 
Now all of a sudden he's swapped around and now he's back in, he, he, you know, he's back in Donald Trump. So first he's against the lockdowns, then he's back in Donald Trump, the person who actually started the lockdown. So what, what's, what, what are we doing here? And I can't believe people come onto my network and have a nerve enough to actually run their mouth talking to me, leaving comments saying, oh yeah, you know, you need to shut up talking about Tom McDonald. You need to, that shows the stupidity. That's why I said this country's over, unfortunately, it is. So I do hope you're all prepared for that because it, it, it seems as though it's going to get very nasty, okay? And I believe that he had his chance and that President Biden had his chance. And the big issues that are confronting our nation, which is the destruction, the systematic destruction of the working poor, of the American middle class, that it's gotten worse and worse and worse. It's not the destruction of the middle class. That's not really what it's about. That, that's where the OnlyFans culture comes in and the digital prostitution. And that's why there's tons of children pulling in $50,000 a month or more. Like it's absolutely nothing. And none of them are opening up proper businesses, distributing that money back or doing anything with that money that they have that they're not supposed to have in mass like that. Nobody's supposed to be some millionaire, quite frankly. You can say what you want, but nobody's supposed to be some kind of a millionaire because they're pulling money away from other people. Technically is how it's supposed to work, especially if they're not a, a CEO of a massive company that can redistribute the money back into America. As much as I don't like Jeff Bezos, and I don't, he has a monopoly and he shouldn't because he's still not redistributing the money back into where it needs to be. It's all this blue space, whatever origin crap that they got going on and other nonsense that takes away money from the taxpayers and many other things. All this stuff is so obvious to me. I find it crazy. How people can't understand this. I hear people talking about Islam. You haven't studied Islam. You haven't studied Judaism. You haven't studied Christianity. You haven't studied it enough to understand anything about it. That's the problem. That's why I was going to do that video and, and show what Marks of the Beast, the history behind that type of stuff, and what it actually says written inside of Scripture. Because people think they can just read a Bible once by a king, and you think you understand events that change the world. All of these things have to be looked at. And when all of the swamp creatures are, are outright going against Christianity, it should show that a lot of the keys to, to the, our world are hidden inside of Christianity. That's why, okay? That's why it's one of the only ones you can't talk about. The whole Jesus situation is completely separate. It's completely separate. We're not talking about that. We're talking about what explains the best way origin of life was created what explains everything that we're seeing in our real life now that we're discovering about the world about history about ourselves about our genes and we need a, we need a big change in this country and you know the, the the media and the democratic party and the republican party neither of them are saying that they're offering a change they're all saying you better vote for my candidate because the other guy is scared He's not offering a change either. And he's going to destroy the republic. And he's going to work swamp. But instead, he came in and he appointed the new treasury to be up Jack. I don't think it's appropriate for me to talk about it. I think it's a tragic story you want to know the truth and i felt that with hillary clinton too you know with uh, hillary clinton i could have done things to her that would have made your head spin i thought it was a very bad thing take the wife of a president of the united states and put her in jail and then i see the way they treat me that's the way it goes but but that has been going on this entire time and nothing was done about it this is nothing more. And people literally spend their lives on a daily basis listening to what these people are actually saying, trying to make sense of all of it when it's a senseless thing and it's a senseless conversation. It serves no purpose to listen to any of these people because they don't say anything. He, they don't say anything. It doesn't matter how it would have made you look. And they're still out here running their mouths, talking about you and talking about having you wiped out as well. And yet we're still hearing the same thing. Excuse after excuse after excuse. Why didn't you say that before? Why, why didn't you say that immediately before? That's what should have happened. And also on top of that, if you make the claim that you're going to do something when you get in power and you don't do it, that's called lying, period. Whether, whether, whether it looks bad, looks good, doesn't matter. 
Maybe you should have done more. But he knows that if he had have done something like that, that that, that little fake shot that happened probably would have hit its target that time, wouldn't it? So all of it is a stage. And that's the problem. None of these people are offering any real solutions. And nobody, no one person can have this solution. It takes people to have a little bit of morals. And by putting in a pornographic network to, to where you get your news from, like Twitter, and adding OnlyFans and adding a huge, huge pornographic type of network, you, you take away the morals of people where what they feel is right is right. Can you pass up that much money? Can you pass up the opportunity to make tens of thousands of dollars a month like that, just like that for doing absolutely nothing except taking pictures or recording videos? You're not thinking about that impact that it has on you, your family later, or your life or anything like that. You're just doing what you want to do. It's geared toward children. There's even children, apparently, with these things waiting until they're 18. And they're not even supposed to have any accounts or any of this type of stuff going on. So this really does show how when you take away the morals from a society, like in the protocols, you know, of those elders, um, it completely erodes the fabric of any nation or any country. When you pollute the airwaves, okay, which is the music they have out now, with a whole bunch of men in there, I guess dressed up as, you know, Glorilla and, uh, and all these other people, constantly making trash music, infesting the ears and the, and the minds, impressionable minds of all 12-year-olds right now, especially women. They want to dress like streetwalker hookers is what's going on. They're not concerned about anything else. They're only concerned about what they want and what they need at the time being. That's the reason that the toilet paper shortage happened. Because they're not really thinking. They're just like, oh, well, I need this and I need that. But you're not thinking ahead. And you're not thinking about your future and how your future, it doesn't matter how much toilet paper you're going to have, you're still going to run out. Is that not the true definition of insanity? Uh, I was very protective of her. Nobody would understand that, but I was. I think my people understand it. They used to say, lock her up, lock her up. And I'd say, just relax, please. We won the election. I think it would be very, I, th I think it would have been horrible for our country. if I, And we had her between uh, the hammering of all of the files. And don't forget, she got a subpoena from the United States Congress. And then after getting the subpoena, she destroyed everything that she was supposed to get. I, I could it, I didn't think, I didn't think, I thought it was so bad to take her and put her in jail, to take her and put her in jail, the wife of a president of the United States, and then... When none of that matters. None, none of that matters. The fact is the fact. This is where the debate comes in. You didn't do it, right? And you said you would. Therefore, you lied. This has nothing to do about whether or not you changed your mind later. That's not what we elected you for, okay? That's not what it was about. That's why when people come up to you and say this as the talking point in the conversations that you might come across if you're an activist like me, because I come across it all the time, these are not excuses. These are not debate points. He lied, period. They need to come to that consensus and they need to, 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 to rebuttal and say, okay, yes, you are right. He did lie, but yeah, that's fine. Okay. But he lied next. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good excuse. Good excuse, bro. Next, next topic. I won that. You conceded next topic. You lost. So let, let go of your, uh, but, but I, I had to steal it. I had to steal because I would have starved. It doesn't matter. You still stole it. But I had to do this or else it doesn't matter. You still did it. Stop making excuses. Stop being a victim. It's my turn. Nobody thinks that way. I thought it was a very terrible thing. And she did a lot of very bad things. I'll tell you what. She was, she was pretty evil. Yeah. She did a lot of very bad things. She's I'll your, tell you what. She's she your was, cousin. She was pretty evil. But in terms of the country and in terms of unifying the country, bringing it back, to have taken her and to have put her in jail, and I think you know the things as well as I do, there were some pretty bad acts that she did. Uh, I think it would have been very bad for our country. And a lot of my people, a lot of the MAGA, as they call them, but the base, and I think the base is, 
I think the base is 75% of the country, far beyond the Republican Party, because we're a party of common sense, and I'm a person of common sense. I want to have low taxes. I want to have strong borders. I want to have a strong military so that China and Russia, look, they've allowed China and Russia to do the impossible combined. Changing? They're natural enemies. They always have been, because China needs more land and Russia has it. But you work with them. You, you work with them. And all the people over in Russia, they killed over two, about like 200 and some million Russians during the revolution. There's hardly any Russians left in Russia. Say what you want. I don't care if you like that statement or you don't. Those are not Russians. We know who those are. Okay? We know who those are. That's the reason when you've seen that little fake interview, what happened during that fake interview? Didn't I cover it with Tucker Carlson and, and Vladimir Putin? Uh, how he just conveniently skipped over all of the stuff that took place, yet he's so well taught in history. So my point being of this video, before it gets too long, is that people need to truly wake up, everybody on all sides. I talk about a lot of people, but I talk about their actions on what they do. They can't talk about me because I don't really do any of that. Everything that I say now is pretty much the same as, as what it's always been. If I've changed certain things, I've changed certain things um, based on learning more information about it, but I've hardly changed anything. It's the same situation with quantum mechanics. It's the same situation of of the the evolution uh, situation and stuff like that and and it's the same thing i don't care what part of the religion that you're part of whether it's new age or whether it's this whether it's that you don't have enough information yet and a lot of people have just cut off their research and and, and they've cut off their massive dig into finding the information and a lot of it's not out there that that much anymore unfortunately i can still upload and re-upload some of the proof the documents the colleges and other people that show you what happened hundreds of years ago, how they changed a lot of the maps and how they they moved a lot of artifacts from one location to another, how there was multiple Jerusalems, okay? All of this stuff plays a big role into the world that has been shaped for us today. Therefore, if, you don't, if you're looking in the wrong place trying to find the proper information, how are you going to find it? You're not going to. You're going to be misled. And that's my point. And too many people are being misled. That's the reason I brought Jaronism and I brought all these people up is because too many people are being misled. And it doesn't matter to me how many, how many YouTubers don't like me or any of this other stuff. Anybody working in a truth community right now does not have that far of a reach. You don't have that far of a reach. Most of your views and subscribers are altered. And I brought this up, and I mean, years ago, back when I was looking at social media manipulation as to how somebody like some of these rappers that were placed out in the public eye out of nowhere, whether it's Lil Nas X or anybody else that had 200 subscribers and instantly featured with a industry legend and then all of a sudden go super mega viral and become one of the biggest influencers in the world. I've shown people how the manipulation is work is real. You can actually hire social media ma and network manipulation companies in order to make sure that you are in front of every single person. These things are real, whether you know it or you don't. But if you spend 20 some years in the music industry like me, okay, trying to break into it, trying to get successful making my music and honing in on my craft, then you would know the same information I know about it as well, okay? But it's sadly, a lot of people just haven't. So anyway, that's my whole point. So I'm going to continue to still talk about anybody who's doing evil and anybody who's out here, and not evil by my opinion, demonstrable evil, understand? Stuff, disinformation, lies, cover-ups, stopping progress in any kind of way over their own ego, emotion. Feelings, blah, 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 all those use, useless things, quite frankly, things that are ruining our lives, okay? It's to the point where you can't even post this type of stuff over in the UK because they will come to your house and arrest you. So is, is that where you want it? Because it will get to that point. If you can't wake up. It's not over. Amish space.